Well, time now is 534, and now another story that you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Providence police detective and Amazing Race contestant Louis Stravato has been cleared of wrongdoing in the wake of Operation Deception. Stravato was one of several Providence police detectives placed on desk duty after three other cops were charged in the case. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado has more on his exclusive interview from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Stravato and another officer have been cleared. They're back to patrolling these streets of Providence. But that leaves two other Providence police detectives that are still on desk duty. On national television, Providence police detective Louis Stravato was at the center of CBS's Amazing Race. At the same time, he also got caught up in a corruption probe into the Providence Police Department dubbed Operation Deception. But he's been cleared. I was confident right from the beginning that um, I was going to be cleared. So, I mean, I... I maintain my innocence right from the start. The Attorney General's office determined this week Stravato and another detective didn't do anything wrong. They were put back on the streets after nine weeks of desk duty following a meeting with Chief Dean Esserman. He said, I have good news for you guys. You can smile again and you can go back to fighting crime. Three Providence police officers were arrested in the probe in March. Officer Albert Hamlin, Detective Joseph Colanduano, and Sergeant Stephen Gonsalves are all facing felony charges. They are accused of protecting a drug ring. Stravato and the other detective were placed on desk duty after a drug dealer implicated them in the probe. There was allegations made about me from a drug dealer. And I didn't do, you know, there were allegations, and I knew there were allegations, and it angered me a lot. I was very angry for these, you know, these past couple of months. And although he didn't win the million-dollar prize on Amazing Race, Stravato says competing before a national audience and being under investigation was not easy. I'm free, I'm free at last. I did talk to the other detective over the phone last night who has been cleared. He declined to go on camera, but says it's a weight off his shoulders. With another Eyewitness News exclusive, I'm Alex DePrado with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Eyewitness News.